Okay, now with the last construction, point P was on the line. Now what happens if the point is off of the line, somewhere out here? Well, you actually follow the same steps. Remember from the last construction. You go, you put your compass on P, and then using any convenient arc length, let's make it a little longer, we're going to draw two arcs that intersect this line at two points. So in this case, we have this arc, and I can spin this, and we can draw an arc here. Perfect. And then, what we do, let me turn this back around, is that now you should notice that if P were on the line, this would be the midpoint. So what you're supposed to do at this point, well, actually, you should label the points of intersection first. Label them A and B, or whatever you want. And then put the compass on either of the two points. Now, make sure that the compass is, has an arc length greater than one half of the whole segment. Well, here's half the segment, so it's definitely greater than that. And then, from each endpoint, so from A, you're going to draw an arc up here and down here. And from B, you're going to use the same arc length to draw two arcs that intersect the two you just drew. So above the line, let's draw an arc from A. And do the same thing under the line. There's an arc, okay, and then get it back to where you were. You can flip the compass, put the point on B, and then using the same arc length, construct two arcs that intersect. The ones you just drew were A. And as you should always, label the points of intersection. You can call them whatever you want. I'm going to call them X and Y. We'll put X up here, Y down here. And then you should be able to draw a straight line that goes through point X, through point P, and through point Y. So I will do that. I'll start from X should go through point P, through point Y. It's a little off, so let me just move it. That's what happens when you use a computer, I guess. There you go. And then just make sure that you have arrows on both ends of your line. You don't want to lose points for something silly. There you go. So you draw that line, and there you go. You have line XY or XPY that is perpendicular, perfectly perpendicular to the original line. And if you wanted to, you could take a protractor and see all of the four angles will be 90 degrees.